Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to put photos or texture either behind letters or um, texturize your letters with um, um, a photo or a texture. So uh, the first method is going to be fairly, fairly easy, uh, but then as we progress it's going to get a little bit more, um, uh, you know, I'm not going to say tricky, but um, I promise that I'll make this as easy to follow as possible. So stay tuned. All right, thank you for joining me. I'm going to create my workspace and I'm just going to create a, um, a square workspace. It can be any size really. Uh, you can make this a square, a rectangle, um, uh, any, any size really. So the first method I'm going to show you is so simple that um, you won't believe I'm showing you this method. Uh, but it pretty much involves using frames. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, in here, just type in A. And um, if you we scroll down a little bit, we'll see here frames. And um, when you click more, you see different kinds of A's. And again, these are frames. So um, when I uh, put this in here, um, I can put that there. I can search. Um, I can either search for B and try and match up the letter. And I think this is the next match. And, or I can come in here and I can click on the three dots and um, click here, view more and it'll show me um, anything else that this designer has created. Um, of course, it's much easier to just go back here and then just type C. And I think this is the next one. And uh, so here we go. I'm just gonna try and resize it so it's the same size. There we go. And so now, um, if you have um, your photos, uh, and I'm going to search for a photo, um, I'll I'll search for I guess um, flowers. Uh, and let's see what we've got in here for flowers. Um, anything else? Let's pick that one. Okay, so there we go. So that one's much much better. With the other one, you had a lot of white space around it. Um, so let's choose another photo to um, add to the other letters. Um, let's choose that one and let's put it in the C. Okay, there's a C. And now let's um, search for another. Why don't we do this one with the roses? And there we go. So this is one method of um, placing photos or um, a texture. I mean, you can even do this with texture. You can put texture in here too. Uh, for example, if I want to put um, a golf a golf ball in there, just to give it like a golf ball type texture, you can do that too. Uh, and then when we and then if you you can apply a, a background or another photo in the back like um, grass and you can make this your background and there you go that that's kind of cool too um, but mind you I really did like the other um, photo but this is one way this is a very um, very simple and easy method to place photos in your letters um, all right, so I hope you like this. Um, the next two methods are um, a little bit more trickier, um, but um, you know, if you're up for the challenge, um, stay tuned for um, the next two different methods. All right, so what I, now that I have my workspace, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some text. And I'm going to select a font that isn't too fancy. 
like bright. I'm going to type in here uh, I know you can't see that, but September is a cool month. And I'm going to make this the font larger so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, OK, so there it is. I'm just going to make it um, up here on three different lines. Uh, I am also going to just uh, remove the spacing in between here. I want to bring the lettering uh, close together. Okay, and I'll just make that a little bit bigger. And just bring it to the middle. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to um, add an element behind your lettering. So I'm just going to click on um, a square. Um, I know it's got rounded edges, but uh, I, I still consider it a square. Um, now I'm just going to um, resize it so that it fits on top of my lettering. And I'm going to send this uh, square element to the back behind my words. I'm going to select my words now and I'm going to change the color of my font, um, my letters to white. Okay, so there is my, there's my wording. It's on a black background, uh, on a dark background, which is important. So white lettering with a dark background. All right, so once you have your text on top of your element, your square element with a dark background, just make sure there isn't a lot of space between your words and the element, meaning if it's up here, just come down and just bring it, just tighten up the sides so that there isn't a lot of space uh, around your, your word, okay? The next step is for us to download this as an image. And we're going to come here, we're going to press the share button, we're going to download. We're going to download this as a PNG. And um, it doesn't have to be a transparent background, but you can download this. And there's my saved um, image there. I'm going to add a page. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab and slide my image onto my workspace. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to click Edit Photo and we're going to click B, the BG Remover, the Background Remover. And what should happen is, is that the um, background in the letters should be removed. How do we check this? Click on the Background Remover um, button and we see here that um, it's transparent behind the letters. So now that we've made a stencil, because that's what we've done, we've made a stencil. I'm just going to add another page here and I'm going to add a photo. Um, All right, so I'm going to make this my background. And now I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to drag it onto my page here. And I'm just going to make it smaller here. I'm just going to crop, crop it a little bit. And now what I can do is I can just bring it over parts of my my photo um, and then if you want to add you know some 
black lines to cover the photo, you can do that um, just to keep it, you know, all uh, one um, one color up here. Um, you can do that. Uh, I'm just going to change the shape to a rectangle. And okay, there. I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm just going to bring that down here. I mean, if you want, you don't have to do this. You can do anything you like. Um, the other thing that you can do, and there you can see like the flowers in behind. Um, the other thing you can do is if you didn't like the black, you could probably change it using a uh, dual tone. Here's the dual tone. Okay. So here, um, you know, you, you could change it to virtually any color that you wanted. So let's say you wanted um, uh, red. Um, you could do red and then change the um, the top and bottom to the same color as well. Um, or you can you can just leave it as uh, black the way it came, the way we made it. okay? So that's the second way to place a photo in behind text. The next method is going to uh, isolate the letters and use texture to create the letters. So once you have this stencil, um, we can use this stencil to create. I'm just going to make a copy of that and bring it to my page here. And now what we'll do is we'll just place uh, something behind it. It can be anything. I'm going to, I'm going to put some broccoli. Okay, so I'm just going to make that bigger like that, and I'm going to move that in behind my stencil. So there's my broccoli. Okay. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is the opposite of what we did previously. Um, we're still kind of creating a, st a stencil, but the reverse, uh, which will leave us with only the letters and not the black background. So what we're going to do is we're again, we're going to download this as uh, a photo. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to download this. Um, I'm only going to download page four. Okay, I'm going to say download. I'm going to come here and I'm going to bring in my photo and I'm going to bring in a green background. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my photo. I'm going to remove the background. Okay, now um, it looks like it did most of it. I just need to clean it up a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase my brush size a little bit and I'm just going to come here and just fix it up a little bit. Um, now you can just decrease the size here. Um, okay, just a little bit there. And I'm just going to remove that line. So th this wasn't too bad. Um, and I'm just going to restore right here a little bit. 
of my image. Okay, I think that's that's pretty good actually. Um, okay, and if you need to get in there a little bit, you can get in there by um, just z zooming in with your mouse button. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we're done. We're going to go back. And um, I mean, this is super cool, don't you think? Um, so now what we can do is we can we can leave it on this green background. We can you can make it bigger like so. And there you have it. That is the third way to place a photo behind a behind letters or in letters or incorporate a um, texture into uh, letters.